welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. Boston truck away there. We're heading up to the second annual Mickey Ryan truck show, also known as the Ronald Lazell truck show. Used to be the Lazell truck show back in the day, and Mickey Ryan was the MC of the event. And he was the guy that met you at the door, parked all the trucks, and kind of ran the show. And Mickey was a trucker for Ideal Block, and he was killed a few years ago in a car wreck he was hit head on and um, so this is the second annual uh, in his honor so we're heading up there with a the super liner should be a good time Should be a lot of old trucks there some good trucker stories lace up your boots that's gonna be good let's go
Brockway Corner. I love these old Brockways. They're built in Cortland, New York. And every year, Cortland has a big Brockway truck show to welcome these trucks home. Old school cool. Oh man, I love this one right here. I love the, I just love, I love this. Just the leather, old school leather, old door handles, crank windows. This is your air conditioning right there. It's your vent window. Right there, that's what it's all about today. No way I ride. And listen to this. Solid. They don't make them like that anymore, that's for sure. Look at Brockway coming in right now. Wow, what a honey! Holy cow. Buddy Dickie pulls this one. They just got this trailer polished by Metal Mirrors down to Milford, Mass. Did a hell of a job. It's a nice tribute truck to the armed services. This is where we are, the Chelmsford Lodge of Elks, Chelmsford, Massachusetts.
I'm hey, here, Bob. I'm here with the uh, Boston Trucker. Nice to meet you. At the uh, Chumsford Truck Show. And uh, we're about ready to depart you. So I've got my 1963 Mac B67. And uh, we came out to enjoy the show today from uh, Marshfield, Mass. Nice to meet you, Bob. And, uh, I feel like you've done this before. No, just I'm winging it. You're doing a hell of a job. Tell me about your truck. Well, like I said, 1963. Yeah. It has the 673 Thermodyne diesel. Okay. 10 speed, two stick transmission. Uh, over the years, I've done a lot of work to it, changing things over and putting a dump body on it and yeah. that type of thing. So. Where did the truck originally come from? Do you know? uh, Medford, Mass. Really? Wow. Uh, Riverside Transport used to own this truck. Father bought a brand new. And did you supply one with it? I plowed one year with this truck. Okay. And how did you get started in trucking? Oh, that's a long story. Oh, we got, we got some time. It, make... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess I was just enthused with driving a truck, and especially the old Max. And I learned how to run a two-stick transmission. And really? It's been in my blood ever since. Wow. Can we look at the interior of your truck? Oh, give me my guess. Yeah. open the door. That is really nice. See that two stick. All steel. Yeah, there's not a lot of comfort in it. No, <laughs> no. They were built to last. Yeah. Nice that's really. why they're still around. That's really cool. So that's the basics of it. I like uh, it. I like the bulldog on the battery box here. Yeah, I just put all new tires on this truck and brakes, and uh, all the work just went into this the last few months. Okay. We're getting to be kind of happy with it. Yeah? You gonna take it to some more shows? Oh yes. I love it. Yep. I like that. You don't see many B67s. No, they're pretty rare for the yeah. most part. Yep. I like the cab though. Well, it was nice talking to you. You too. I appreciate it. Take it easy. It would be nice to see you again. All right. Soon. Absolutely. Okay, we're gonna head off. So. All right, you go for it. Thank you. Nice seeing you.
All right. Am I going to be on YouTube? <laughs> no, you're not going to be on YouTube. You want to be on YouTube? It's up to you, Mike. Look, you got quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, all right. Well, I ran out of questions for you. All right. But I had a lot to tell you, you know? I won't put you on the spot. I don't give a shit. Okay, this is probably going to be on then. How you doing? Good. How are you? <laughs> hey, it's the McLeod's tell What's yeah. going on, McLeod? You guys, you guys are brothers, right? Cousins. 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 Get it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? That B-81 come up. That's, That's beautiful, right? Yeah, Scott. Yes. Tell everybody your background in trucking. How'd you get into it? What'd you do? My father worked for a company called F.E. D'Addario. And I've been riding in trucks since I was able to walk. Yeah? Yeah. They had auto cars. Then they had Max. And auto cars. Yeah. Used to drive a 75-ton Rogers low bed. And the auto car had a 320 supercharge Cummins in it. When I went to buy my first truck, I found the truck. Okay? And yep. no motor. It was a tractor. So I tell him, I said, I found the truck. He goes, no, oh, no, you can't afford that motor. They're going to put a 290 Cummins in it. No, 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 no. So I buy a B81. And about two months later, here comes the truck down High Park Ave. M. Susie. Thank God it went oh, yeah. to a good home. And they had it. I don't know what happened to it. They got rid of the auto cars. You know? And then I see this guy on the computer of it. <laughs> the bo wasn't there two Boston truckers? Yeah, there was another guy. I was the original, though. I want to be. Yeah, you he's, say he's that. A good, he's a good guy. The original Boston trucker. Yeah. That's the kid that was plowing snow, burying cars. No, that was the dog. The, the dog. <laughs> that was funny, though, burying the cars. They call me in the springtime when you want to find your car. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Because uh, I used to plow Boston, and that would happen. Yeah. Wait, hold one second. I don't think that was the wire. It was too new. You know? Yeah. And what, you want to talk about B-81s? Yeah, go. Give me a, God give me knows a I've had enough of them. Yeah? I've had three. What's his name is in here today, though? Arrigo? Mark? Oh, Mark Arrigo, yeah. He's got a nice one. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. He still it works it. I think it's the only one. He's had... I know. I know. I know. You're gonna go buy our pit? Yeah, we'll take a ride by the Taylor Street. Is it we locked? Plow out of Taylor Street. Yeah, it's locked. Street. I mean, the machines are blocking it off. Yeah. You can walk up there and. I know. I told the Cadenzos last week. What? I went for a ride in your tractor. What do you mean? I said it's on YouTube. I went for a ride. There. <laughs> you know where that came from? No. My body. Oh really? Yeah, they pulled it out of a pile. Oh no shit. Yeah. Who's Pete's that? That's uh, Commonwealth. The black oh, one? I see that around here. Commonwealth, they're out of, uh, they're right down the street. I see it. You've got a picture of it somewhere. Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that it? You got nothing else? Well, you know, I'm a little on the spot right now. <laughs> well, I covered everything. I was hoping I saw you. I mean, I didn't see you in Lancaster. Yeah. Oh, I, I went there. sad. I went sad. Oh, I was just on the Edwards out of it. Oh, them slave drivers. Yeah. Are they it's here okay. Today? No. No. So, you guys still park at Waltham? Yeah, Waltham and Littleton. Is the garage at Littleton yes. too? Where? Up Taylor. Taylor Street. That's where we're going. Yeah. No, you can't. There's nothing there. It's locked. So that's locked up. The Where's Rooks? There. You know Bobby Rooks? No. I want to go to his yard too. Do you know where it is? I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. So you guys what? just start trashing around pretty much, right? We love looking at junk. Uh, hey. I'm in the club. Uh, well, I, I, yeah. We're in the no. same club, then. We can be friends. That was fun. Uh, it's all right, Mike. You can call me. Okay. It's funny. Because me and Chris and Kowski, you got pictures of his arm model and his bulldog. Okay. All right. For years, that's all we did. We're riding around looking for Max. It was comical. Really? Oh, no, it was comical. Are Max the best or Autocar's the best? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I went to buy my first truck. 
I, 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 I found an auto car that this guy used to own. So I found him. He goes, listen, kid, you don't want an auto car. Goes, what do you mean? He goes, because you can always fix a Mac. You can't always fix an auto car. Which, as I turned out, I, I went, because they're, they're, they're too hard to work on, yeah. you know. And then I went and bought the B80. I bought Zoppo, a B81 on Zoppo, you know. So I just became a Mac guy after that. I mean, if you look at the suspension on the old auto cars, and there's like 30 grease fit. <laughs> the Mac's only got six. Okay. You tell me. Uh, you know, right? It's just easier. So where's the job tomorrow, Mike? What are we? I'll be hauling gravel from uh, Waltham to Littleton to our pit. And we got a couple jobs going in that area. We'll probably haul some material to there and uh... get nice and tight in the yard, will you? I can't believe the yard. I can't. I, I, I was telling I, I can't believe it's so tight in there. Yeah. They've been there since 1948. Well, that I can believe. We yeah, they didn't work. have trailer dumps in 48, though. Yeah, we make it work. Yeah, it's tight, tight though, huh? It's tight. But it's not too bad. Where do you plow snow? I like wall this. fam. Our wall fam. How many plow trucks? Uh, of our own, we got we get a whole bunch. We got a bunch of equipment, too, we plow with. Probably 30 pieces. The tractors don't plow with sand. No. Two, two, two cherry? Ah, uh, we just don't need to. Four tractors? Four, four tractors, a, five, a fifth one coming, yeah. What's coming? Another A piece? Western Star. Oh, I like them. Yeah. Those look nice. Bombay Cottage. You ever see those? Yeah. They look yeah, pretty yeah. nice. Yeah. You taking the Western Star, Mike? Uh, we're getting one, yeah. Are you going to take it? No, I'm going to stay in the W900. There you go. He's a road driver. He's a road guy. I like the shift. Hey, that's what I wanted to ask you. What's, What's that the... got? Two shifters in it? Which one? The Kenworth. The Kenworth. Mine? Yeah, because there's one picture of you and you're grabbing two sticks. That's no. a different. That's a different truck. That was Freddie's truck. No, uh, that's uh, that is the Grumpy Pete, the black okay. 379 that's owned by Dean Croak. It's got two sticks. It's got two sticks. The 13 speed with a splitter on the dash. Okay. Really? Yeah. Well, you also talk about Sully. Sully's trucking the blue Pete. Yeah. Do you remember the Green Pete? Yes. It was in American Trucker Magazine, 1984. I got it. I do, too. KTA. Yeah, I've never met that guy. Oh, no? No, oh, no. Yeah, Gordon's a good guy. He used to park at Pellegrino. Oh, really? A bunch of them did, yeah. He should. Before they filled the garage with newspapers and yep. desks and... Um, do you remember Pat Flaherty with a 359 Irish Spring? was painted with Irish? Yes. Sure, I don't know. Where was okay. he from? Brockton? Weymouth. Weymouth. Yeah. But Sully's truck with that KT600 comes yeah. in it. I know where that truck is, by the way. Yeah, we, what's in Indiana. Yeah, yeah right, yeah. right, right. When you used to start that, yeah. it would be rocking the KTA low. That had a 5 and 4 transmission. That had okay. two sticks. Yeah. My buddy Charlie went to Florida with him with that. So they're coming up out of Georgia one night. Two o'clock in the morning. Ninety miles an hour. He's like, I got two more gears and more pedal. I mean, what happened? He goes, I got scared because it started rocking. It started rocking. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, it was nice talking. I think I, I think we got a video here. <laughs> now you can go watch yourself on YouTube. Make I sure don't. you hit the like button and subscribe. Right? I just, 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 I, I don't have to. I just punch in YouTube trucks and you're there, man. <laughs> I'm glad right. I saw you because that's funny. You, you know, you're in the foot and going, I know where he is. I know I knew where he where you were, you know. <laughs> that's funny. And that Kennedy, that, that gravel pit's all gone up there in Akron. Yeah, yeah. Know? They moved to like Brookfields. Uh you know who's in there now is the Dirt Doctor, the mulch company. There was a ton of trucks in there. Yeah. I went in there one Sunday and they threw me out. Yeah, me and my wife were yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you with your wife. <laughs> I dragged my wife in there with me. Does she think there's something wrong with you, too? Uh, yeah, but she supports me, so she's cool. I used to go out with a girl that was a truck driver. Oh, really? It was easy. It was easy. <laughs> I mean, because the truck, she understood it. You yeah. Know? She knew the, she knew yeah, your well, world. Well, then I went out with one. She goes, how can you get to get up at 4.30? Because I got to go to work. That's why, you know. Because <laughs> right. sometimes I'd yeah. wash the truck before I went to work. Oh, God forbid. You can't, can't wipe it down and scratch the paint. And if you use pledge, 
it's got acid in it and it takes that oh yeah he works with you guys don't he sometimes yeah where'd that come from it's, uh i'm not sure <laughs> it's just it is painting it yeah Boston truck? I guess. That's what they say. Hi, Hi Lori. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Victor.
What's that? I drive number 16. Oh, yeah? Best truck in the fleet. Number 16 is the best truck? Okay. Nose, it's more of a, of a, of a, of a CH type nose. Okay, but gonna... 350 Huss engine, and, and it just goes. I'm going to videotape you starting this baby up. Alright guys, we're going, huh? Sounds good. Sounds good! We made it back from the truck show safe and sound. The rain held off. It was a good time. Nice little turnout. I like those local shows. A lot of nice antique trucks. A lot of cool people. That's what it's all about. The cool people, the conversations, and the trucks are a bonus. Catch you next time. Hit that like and subscribe button. Boston Trucker. Hoot.